good. So I'm going up north today, going back to the crib. Right here in Tulare, just got unloaded. Dude, I'm starving right now. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm parked in the dock, but they said they're not expecting any more reefer trucks, so I should be good. That's how I feel right now, dude. I'm starving. We'll get some Mexican food right now. Damn, dude, the turning up at Walmart, I guess, and Chipotle. Dude, you'll get ran over in this parking lot. As busy as it is, dude. Dude, so I'm walking out of Chipotle, right? And there's this mom right there with her kids. She's all checking me out. And I take this napkin and I just blow pluggers out of my nose into this napkin and just blow my nose, dude. <laughs> I just thought that was pretty funny, dude. She's all, damn. <laughs> dude, you ever feel like you're having a kind of a bad day and you eat some food and then you just feel 10 times better? Man, that just, that's how I feel right now, dude. I feel like a new man. Check that out. That's sick, dude. Match your reefer. Nice. Dude, that Chipotle ran through me like wildfire, man. I had to make a pit stop in Goshen. Sick, dude. That's hard right there, man. So I'm here at the store, but I'm not in the dock because they got, as you can see, two trailers in there. So I'm gonna have to move one. I think I'm gonna move it and put it right over there in these parking spaces. Then I'll dock in. So we're gonna be here for a minute. Dude, Merced is so sketchy. My dad like wanted to move here for retirement because it's cheap. I told him, please don't. You're better off just moving out of state. Right, like I don't want to be ducking and dodging drive-bys and you know, whatever, just to go and see you. I'm telling you, this city is like one big hood out here. So, looks like I got to move this first one. I'm going to put it right here. Put it right here on the side. I'm not going, I'm not going far. Oh, this is a tight parking lot too. So, what's the number on this? 149131, I gotta send that in. So, just like I said, put it right there so I can go right there. Now I'm gonna go inside and get unloaded. This should be pretty quick. They only got about four pallets. So that was quick. Now I'm off to Atwater, Madeira. Then I'm gonna drop this trailer off and go to the crib. I gotta pick up some mail, dude. Just pulled up right here in Atwater. See if they'll let me in. Doesn't always work, but I'm gonna give it a try. They were actually pretty fast for everything that they had. So until my last drop, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick. I should get there way before they go to lunch, so I think I'm good on time tonight. All right, now I'm here in Atwater. This is where they unload you with a forklift, so I might go inside and see if I can just walk right in the front door because I think they're on break right now. Dude, it's, it's really cold out here tonight. Feels like I'm in the freezer, dude. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's back here. Oh, I think someone saw me. I'll give them like five minutes, then I'm gonna go out to the front. So it looks like we're gonna get rocking and rolling. That's good, dude, I'm ready to bounce. It's cold out here. Hurry up and get this unloaded so I can get back in the truck, man. It's too cold to be outside tonight. Cold outside. Ready to go home, man. Let's get up out of here. Quick little pit stop right here at Love's. Then I'm skedaddle. I'm not gonna lie, dude. OTR is cool because you get to see the country, but just feel better when you're home.
leaving the same note that I've been using. It's a little crumbled up, but you can still read it. So that's it. That's it for tonight, man. Just dropping this trailer off at the store and I'm gonna head to the crib. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video with a friend if they're interested in truck driving. I have some good videos that are on the way, all right? And they're definitely gonna help out a lot of people, especially people that are into trucking or looking about getting into trucking. And not, not just that, but money, the money side of it, all right? Because that's something I don't really touch on too much in this channel. But I'll give you a, I'll give you a little appetizer right now. Always think outside of the box, no matter what you're doing. That's where a lot of people fall short. Not just in trucking, but everything in life. A lot of people do not look outside of the box. And if you're not looking outside of the box, you're going to be leaving a lot of money on the table. That's all I'm going to say as far as the content that's going to be coming up. So be sure to smash that like button. Thank you for the view. Peace out.